Hey YouTubers, guitar lovers and haters and skeptics of the world out there. Yeah, so uh, I've had a chance now to uh, tune up the guitar and play it, and I'm totally impressed how how well this guitar is. I don't have to do nothing to it, but the intonation's a little off, and it still sounds great, man. That's all I have to do to this guitar is change the strings. And deal with the intonation. And the G is like real sharp, man. So I might have to switch out the saddle and turn it around. But it might make a difference when I put better strings on. Because these strings really are cheap, man. They're cheap. So it might be different when I put the new strings on. I'll see. But that's all this guitar needs. Not one bad fret is on this guitar. Not one high fret. They're perfectly level, and all I have to do is polish them, man. And I'm gonna polish up the fretboard. I dig the fretboard, and I believe these are jumbo frets. I'll measure them up. On it. I got jumbos on my uh, Fender Telecaster, so I'll I'll check that out. But I believe they're jumbo. And uh, I did notice there's some, like a scratch. I think this, when they did the sanding, but there's a scratch. And you kind of see a little bit on the, the inlay, and then it goes here. But that, that'll all come out when I do the steel wooling and, and rejuvenate this fretboard. But uh, the inlays are nice, man. They're not as... These are put in and glued in better than the inlays I had done six years ago when I built two other chipsons. So they are definitely better. I really dig this guitar. And I bought a tusk nut for this, so in case you guys want to get one for your chipson. And I started... I'll let you know how this works, and I believe it's going to work great. This is the uh, Tusk XL PQL6061-00. It's for Epiphone style Les Pauls. The 6060 is for the USA Les Pauls. And the string spacing on this... I'm trying to even this up here. So the string spacing on this is a little different. But I believe this string spacing on the plastic nut is wrong. Because look how high that base E is. And it's not exactly perfect to the... The pole on the pickup so when I see that's how much it's it's gonna pull it up and even it out with the new nut and same with the the trebly you know it's gonna even it out so I think it's gonna work out great but yeah I love this guitar I totally forgot about the one I ordered the chrome on it is just perfect man it's got a nice bridge. You know, I might change it to a BM003 roller, how I did to the Firefly. I, I have a new BM003 roller, but it's a small pin. I bought it for my uh, custom chipson. And uh, that's in gold, you know. And, and when I ordered my first guitar, I'm like, hey, I'll use that. And I'll change the... The bushings and the pins and use a small pin and put a roller on this but it's gold i'm like crap i can't use that now you know because the guitar i first ordered was gold i'm like cool man i'll put that new uh bridge on but i can't but i don't care i this bridge is working great i don't feel any vibration or anything like i did with that junky one on the firefly and uh it looks great 
the tail piece. I mean, it's freaking nice, nice chrome, man. This is a beautiful guitar. I got to drop the volume and tone knobs on it. And I'll put some washers on the back to drop it down. Because they are pretty high. They are pretty high. Yeah, I got a little something under there. I just noticed some kind of fuzz or something. I don't know. Something. But it's a great guitar. I dig it, man. And what makes me forget about the other guitar and makes me like this guitar even more because I wasn't into Slash signatures. But uh, I'm digging this one, man. My kids told me what this stands for. I know this said Slash, but I didn't know what this was. They told me that's rock and effing roll. I'm like, freaking that's so cool, man. And uh, when I pulled the sticker off the logo, it reeked real strong of lacquer, man. The, the sticker just stunk of lacquer underneath. I mean, bad. So I don't know if this is a lacquer finish or what. I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to do some scribing with an X-Acto knife. To get this off real nice without doing any chipping, man. Because the finish on here is pretty thick. Not thick, but it's it's on there pretty good. So I'm going to have to... Like, compared to my other guitars, you can see a line and feel it. And you can just scribe it a little bit and boom, you know. But not this one. I'm going to have to scribe into the finish. I don't want to mess this up. So next week, sometime, I'll put this on. When I'm 100%... Uh, feeling froggy and I'll do it because I don't want to chip any finish out or anything but I'll let you know how it goes so but yeah this is for the X uh, for the Epiphone style Les Pauls so it's, just, it's you know gonna match perfect it's the same thickness and everything so but, yeah, like I said, all I got to do is change the strings. That's so crazy. And do the intonation. The The pickups sound good. I was getting... Uh, resistance is 12.3 ohms on the bridge. It was 0, 0.5 on uh, the split. And then... It was 10.0 on the neck. So that's what I'm getting for, out of these stock pickups. And they sound good, man. They sound pretty good. But I, I run, I use, you know, play out of my Black Star amps. And them are some nice sounding amps, man. I haven't hooked it up into my stack or anything like that to see what kind of feedback I'm going to get. or Because that... That'll tell me if I hook it up to my stack, my half stack, man. Kicking the power. That's when you can tell if you got cheap pickups, man. <laughs> but uh, it 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 sounds and plays so great with the Black Star. But yeah, I'm gonna decide whether to go with a black. In gold lettering poker chip and the original slash had a had a cream color with gold lettering I don't have that so here's a cream color with the black lettering so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do but I dig this one but I just I don't like it I like it but I like these better so, it's either going to be the black or the cream. One of the two. I'll decide when I get get to that point. But, uh, yeah, the only flaw that I found on the guitar, I've had it now and looked over everything, is, like I showed you in the unboxing, unfortunately, I got these scratches. But I'll deal with that. A little bit of steam, or maybe I'll take some boiling water and real tiny drops. 
and put it on there and let that uh, wood raise, you know, and then I'll sand it down, make it look nice. Yeah, I love it. Nice binding. And it does have grain. There is grain on that wood. I don't you know, know if you can see it, but it is mahogany and it is a one piece one piece neck man and a one piece body I don't see any separation see this is just picking up like blood like red man like it's painted but it's not there's grain I see grain but I don't know if you can see it in this phone but yeah I'm not sending this guitar back i'm keeping it i totally forgot about the one i ordered especially when i just tuned it up and plugged it in i'm like you kidding me right out the box it just rocks and it's crazy and i want to thank fulton street beats for getting me back up back on my feet and back in my videos and getting another chips in and you know, he was telling me that these things are better now, and they are. This is totally different, way better than how mine were six years ago. I had to do fret work on the two that I bought six years ago. I, don't, I ain't got to do nothing to these. The frets are so nice, man. I just got to polish polish the frets, man. And I'll polish up steel wool the fretboard and everything and rejuvenate it. It's going to look great, man. I dig it. I love it. But yeah, I can't thank Fulton Street Beats enough, man. It's you guys get a chance, check out his channel. He is totally awesome, man. He goes through so many guitars and budget guitars and he's not gonna bullshit you, man. He's he's dead ass on everything. Serious, man. It's an awesome channel. Check him out. Fulton Street Beats, man. He got me back and and got me to buy another chips and man I can't believe it and I'm I'm so glad that this happened man I'm so glad can't thank him enough man I'm feeling good I forgot a lot it, it made me forget about a lot of crap that I went through man it feels good so thanks Fulton Street Beats you're awesome you're awesome man but check out his channel. You will like his channel, man. But yeah, I'll I'll do, I'll shoot a video of this. I got to get in the garage and deal with stuff in the garage, and then I, we got a big snowstorm coming. I'll try to. I'm gonna play this before I take it apart. I'll play it stock later on the night, or if not tomorrow, so you guys can hear it's how it is out of the box with the junky strings on it, and then. Uh, I'll do another video after I redo everything on the fretboard, which is just going to be cleaning it up, man. Changing the strings, intonate it, and then I'm going to wait on the nut. I'm going to keep that plastic nut. It sounds pretty good with a plastic nut. I'm pretty impressed, man. It's, you know, holds the cords up on the uh, first three frets nice, man. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy, man. And I'm digging the, the strap buttons. They're pretty cool. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. And thanks for subscribing to my cheesy channel and watching my cheesy channel. It's greatly appreciated, man. Oh, and also, I get lucky with tuners, man. These tuners are nice and tight. Not that I got no drawback on them or anything. Or holding tune, you know, so I, I get lucky, man, <laughs> but I, don't, I, you know, I don't know why I get lucky, but my, my other two chips is I didn't have to change any, uh, I still had the stock Grover Chinese, uh, knockoff tuners, man, and them two guitars hold tune better than any guitar I got, man, you know, and they're chips -ins. better than my USA guitars, that's crazy, and these are working great, man, you know, so I'll see how they are, you know, as I get to start playing it, 
more and working them more and everything. We'll see how they hold up. If I got to change them or not. But so far, they're doing great, man. I'm not... I, I, I didn't have any problems tuning it. And they ain't making me think they're bad, so... But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. And uh, go check out Fulton Street Beats, man. He's awesome. He's an awesome guy. I'll see you guys later. Elvis has left the building.